There is new funding to keep businesses operating in Glenwood Springs. Yeah, they were put in a bad position to make any money this summer after the mudslides cut off access to their town. Flash flooding in July caused tons of debris to fall from the canyon into the Grizzly Creek burn scar onto I-70. Lanes clogged for weeks. Well, there was extremely limited access to Glenwood. CBS4 Mountain Re Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary reports how this federal funding will help kick the economy back into gear. Glenwood Springs applied for this disaster declaration almost immediately after the big mudslide hit the canyon in July. And it was a good thing because it closed it down for over two weeks. We spoke with a small business owner here who applied for the small business loan almost immediately when it was available on Friday. He says if it doesn't cover all of his losses, it will at least guarantee he'll have another season of rafting ahead. We're still rafting today. We've got a, two boats on the river right now. It's still beautiful weather up here. Um, otherwise, it's been uh, quiet. The quiet would be okay if it hadn't been lingering since the mudslides, which hit during the busiest time of the year for Glenwood Adventures. We lost our second biggest revenue month um, of the year being the month of August, strictly due to the mudslides. The company was 80% down in revenue during the several week closure, and it's not alone. Especially when the closure was first announced, some of our businesses reported 50% down um, throughout that, that initial weekend. The town, along with its businesses, didn't hesitate to reach out to the SBA for help when the canyon shut down. And this Friday, it was one of several communities approved for disaster declaration the flooding and mudslides. This SBA loan or the possibility of getting it is very important because we lost all of that revenue for the month of August, which is generally our cash flow for the fall, winter, and the upcoming spring season. While the crowds have been slow to return, we are already seeing a rebound. September and October are wonderful months to visit Glenwood Springs. We know 2022 is going to be a great season, so it's getting us through that short term and allowing us to maintain our staff. When you think about it, it's been a triple whammy for Glenwood and all of Garfield County. They had the fire, followed by the pandemic, which they're still in, of course, and then the mudslide. So it's a good thing they can apply for this. Other counties that qualify are Eagle, Mesa, Pitkin, Rio Blanco, and Route. They all experienced some type of flooding or debris flow this year. Reporting from Glenwood Springs, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. All right.